today what are we doing easy we are doing another urban dictionary video for you guys because we haven't done one in about a couple months now we have some new terms for y'all and i'm gonna let you read the first one we have to let it build up with new ones so we're gonna start off with the first one psych ward slang word for psych ward mainly used on tiktok my sister just got sent to the psych ward again I don't find that funny, but they spell it S-I-K-E as in psych, right? Instead of psych as P-S-Y-C-H. They should have just spelled it the regular way, but we're going to keep on doing. Entrepreneur instead of entrepreneur, it's entrepreneur. Yes, that's poop. An individual owner of a small startup business who is, in the end, totally full of crap. A new business owner who lacks experience in management, marketing, accounting, etc. A business owner who develops or markets a new product that is utterly useless, ridiculous, or just plain stupid. Yeah. Variations include entrepreneurial, entrepreneurism. So basically somebody who tries to invent the business, but it turns out to just be crap. So. Right. i like you to meet Rob, who sells edible undies that taste like broccoli. He's a real up-and-coming entrepreneur. My client, who That's opened disgusting. a Victoria's Secret store in Islamabad, Definitely has the 21st century entrepreneurial spirit. Islamabad. Okay, I have two cats, so I'm going to take the next one. Cat tax. The cat tax is the requirement to post cute pictures of your cat when you mention them on the internet. My cat is so sweet. She claws me in the face when her bowl is empty. You Why would got you want to, to pay that? the cat tax. My mistake. Here's a picture of my jerk cat. That's that makes no sense. Why would weird. you wanna why would you wanna showcase your cat that literally scratches you in the face every so often? Basically, I guess the cat is mad because you're not sharing them on your page. I guess. Here, let loose. Give it up and turn it loose by James Brown. To find transcendent contentment through art. This is a long Okay, forget about that. Let me tell you something. That. These these um urban dictionary words used to be pretty funny and now they're just basic things like let loose whatever skip that one find another one j name theory oh i think i know what this one oh, is oh god that happens here in this house but go ahead j name theory is that any guy whose name starts with a j is a complete crap and you shouldn't date them ask your friends very few guys with a name that starts with a j is worth anybody's time wow i, I thought when it was saying the j theory is because my my girlfriend's ex named all of his kids with a j my other friend also named her three kids with J's, so I thought that's what the J theory was. Hey, do you remember my ex, J? We're gonna name Jake. Jake. Yeah, wasn't he a piece of crap? Yeah, doesn't that just prove the J name theory? Oh my gosh. What is a plane spotter? Do you know what a plane spotter is? A homo observatorius aeroplanus. Anyway, I'm reading it like that. A species of person who likes to see concrete airplanes, such as the ones they like special new routes iconic aircraft etc they often go dressed up with a fishing hat without hooks a sleeveless jacket often bright yellow orange if they have been selected to be first in line at this an is a air really show long. i know they sometimes carry uh powerful binoculars and you okay so basically what somebody who sees airplanes a plane spotter whatever crap let's skip that we need to find the funny ones. We I need to it. find funny ones. Oh my god, that one went forever. Porch pirate. Person or persons who steal packages off of unsuspecting customers. Porches are front doors. There you go, Man, Amazon. I just got my shit stolen from a porch pirate. Amazon thieves. Have you ever been... Have you ever spotted a porch pirate UPS on your doorstep? Thieves. No, but if you have the Ring doorbell app, you can see a lot of them there. Yeah, she has, she has some security on her door, so she'll be able to see who's peeping at her front door crappy people unfortunately i don't have something like that but i might need to invest in one myself gray sweatpants the pants that you should wear when you hang with a girl with a winky face girlfriend you should come over today wear your gray sweatpants oh <laughs> you don't get it you're insinuating that they want to see the yep. wang scrap the act thought or feeling of a word that is terribly versatile in function where were you? I was just scramping around. You trying to scramp? That shit is scrampy. You want to get high? Scramp. Oh, a squirrel whisperer. That's what I did earlier. 
I'm a squirrel whisperer. A person who has the magnificent ability to whisper to a squirrel and have the squirrel fall under their spell. There was a squirrel in my backyard who was eating all my tomatoes. I decided to call a squirrel whisperer to take the squirrel. You know what? Maybe we should go outside one day in a future video and spot a squirrel and she'll try to do the squirrel whispering. And I'll throw nuts at it. This is gonna These be, nuts. Th this is gonna be the real life squirrel girl. Sass hole. You can read this one. I read too many. It says combination of the words sassy and a person of great sarcastic wit with the only <coughs> oh my god thing keeping them from being a complete and utter is their intentional comedic ass. I mean sass. So a sass hole. Uh, did you hear what Matthew said yesterday? No, but I hear his <clears throat> Z information. Sorry, Z formation was impeccable. He's such a sass hole. Sass hole. Sass hole. Sorry, I'm changing the word. Northeastern. I heard that before. A really know. bad snowstorm characteristic of the Northeast. Hey, South Carolina got 18 inches of snow. Well, that's nothing compared to the Northeastern. Crit. Though. I'm a nor we're, we're both Nor'easters. Power button. We're both Nor'easters. We're from New York. Well, I'm Facts. from New York. Yeah, and you're from New York as well? I read the crypto power button. Crypto power bottom. Oh, bottom? Bottom. What am I reading? Jeez. Someone who is bullish, bought high and always sells low and repeats the babble that some crypto bros and scam <clears throat> artists talk about. Someone who gets effed in the ass without any benefit of sex because... You know, you are just participating in the digital Ponzi scheme. Hey, Claws, you are a crypto power bomb. I'm Somebody's... itchy, I'm scratchy, I'm itchy, and I'm scratchy. Okay. Do you know what flop corn is? It's a flop, pop, 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 pop corn. The kernels in the bottom of the popcorn bag that don't pop oh, is I... a flop corn. We've had, we've had some of those. When I got to the bottom of the popcorn bag, there were quite a few flop corn there, and I felt cheated. WFR. Who f reads? Typically used as a valid excuse for a lack of knowledge by not reading an email or document. Just skim through it. I'm pretty sure pretty the meeting sad. was. Thank you. I'm pretty sure the meeting was at eight and not nine. Flashback, Mary. Flashback. Mary. When taking a picture with the flash and the areas where you apply translucent setting powered powder flashback and make your skin look paler and whiter than usual. Did you see Sabrina's flashback on her camera? On her Instagram post? No, yeah, but I saw her ass crack. She looks like a flashback Mary. Oh my gosh. You saw her what? Ass crack. I'm just joking. Not Sabrina's ass crack. What was that? Day friend. Day friend. You read it. Oh, um, you want? No, I feel, I feel tired to read. A friend you only hang out with during the day because they're too messy to deal with at night usually do their partying ways or the tendency to somehow always get you in trouble. Okay. I have a rule with Edith. I only hung out with her before sunset. She's strictly a day friend. The last night we went out, she released a family of raccoons in the club because they need to dance too. Oh, hello. What kind of person is Edith? What? What a weird. What kind of person does this does this guy know? Drive my car. A euphemism for intimate relations commonly used in the fifties and sixties. Baby, you can drive my car. Oh, like by Linda you? McCartney. Like meaning like Paul McCartney's wife put that? Get him that can't him. be the real Linda McCartney. No, I don't know. Gorp. Actually, no, that can't be the real Linda McCartney. Gorp. Gorp. A general term for trail mix, possibly an acronym for good old raisins and peanuts. Through there is much room for debate. <clears throat> Pass the Gorp. I'm starving over Pass here. Pass the Gorpy on the left hand side. Pass the Gorpy on the left hand side. So it's not it's not mixed nuts, it's just raisins and peanuts specifically. These nuts. These nuts. Did what's his name go at you yesterday? D. You want some? These nuts. He's These gonna eat nuts. my nuts. Oh yes. And if you want more, you can have more. Brainwave. British slang for a sudden clever idea. Similar to the American brainstorm. Often used sarcastically. Ooh. I'm tired because I woke up early this morning and I need some she sleep. Early. She oh woke up early. She woke up early. So early. So early. I'm really tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Susie I invented the name. Now they get some sleep. And get some sleep. Susie invented the name. Invited the neighbors to see her most recent brainwave. A water fountain in the middle of her living room. Laugh farter. <laughs> 
Oh, when a person laughs so hard they fart simultaneously. <laughs> we know, we know, a, we know a couple of people like that. Uh huh. I can name one person, but I'm not gonna say who. Hey, don't talk about me like that. I wasn't referring to you, <laughs> but it's someone we know. Should have went along with it. <laughs> oh. She's a laugh farter. You better stay away. You'll smell it. Dude, did you do some fart laugh? Did you did you do some laugh farter? Yeah. Again, seriously? Forest Bride A B D. Oh, oh but, but dissertation. Uh, Someone who was work her her yawning is trying to get to me now. Oh. Someone who was working on a PhD and has completely completed all requirements except for dissertation. I passed my prelims last week, so now I'm ABD. Grupo. That's all, folks. Exactly. On yeah. women, a fast-growing long single strand of hair that grows out of your face or chest. A single strand. <laughs> witch, witch hair. hair. Put that down. Witch hair back. Ew. I just found a witch hair growing under my chin. <laughs> Posted on September 11, 2020. The act of holding an animal up as punishment limiting their movement. My fat ass cat stole my chicken nut. Put him in air jail. That's these are, dumb. Yeah, these are these urban dictionary terms used to be so fun and we used to love yeah. reading these. And now Venus <laughs> The measure of how far back you wear a beanie, the further you back wear it on your head, the longer your penis is. Usually <laughs> measured in inches. What's this up guys? Stupid. My penis is eight inches long. Well guess what? My penis is ten inches long. Oh my gosh. This this one was posted on November 21st, 2011. This one, oh. okay, acoustic puss. When you misplace your vibrator. <sighs> oh my god. That's so cool. Look through my car, my bathroom, my closet, but I guess it's time to pl you know. So this is, let's say this is your, your lips, right? I have a quick question for you. <laughs> Do you know what you money is? <laughs> Money. Yeah, I think let me let me take a guess. When somebody lends you money, right? And they keep telling you, hey, when are you gonna pay me back? When are you gonna pay me back? And you finally go, here's your money, f you. <laughs> and then you pay them back with an attitude because you didn't want to pay them back, but obviously you had to. Am you're, I right? You're on the right track. Okay, go ahead. The exact amount of money required in order to tell an individual or organization to go f themselves <laughs> without basic repercussions. Okay. When I grew <laughs> When I grew up, I want to be a poster on the internet with a few money like Notch. <laughs> so like when you get those calls on your phone from the fire department, hey, this is your local fire department calling, and we were trying to make a collection, and then you tell them, what the f And then they say, it's only $10. Okay, fine. F you. F you. You can have it. Move along. Nothing, Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Police say that all the time. Nothing to see here. Please Tell us disperse. what that one says. A statement made lazy by my late wait. A statement made my lazy South Park character, Officer Bar Brady. He says this every time there is a crime scene due to the fact that he's a lazy fat ass. Holy shit, what just happened? Move along, nothing to see here. Every time there is something in this town, you just say move along, nothing to see here. We want some <laughs> answers. <laughs> That's Mr. Garrison. Cardinal was bitch like, in the whole wide world, she's stupid bitches, that was a bitch, she's a bitch to all the boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> pillow Prince. The M slash M version of Pillow Princess. Or oh, the male on male version of a Pillow Princess. Said it with less disdain and more appreciation with the m and community. Okay. Why are there bite marks on Steven's pillow? Oh, he's a Pillow Prince. His boyfriend is so lucky. What the hell is Sweet Feet? A hot chick with pretty feet that I love with all my heart. My pretty wife has the sweetest feet on the planet. I love you, sweet feet. That's so stupid. Who invents this? This guy was pro probably has a foot fetish for his wife. Oh Ohio is one. Are What's happening? Welcome to Ohio, where everything's on. I tried to post a fire. A, I, I tried to post a legitimate term on here, and this. That's accepted. I think I seen that. Um, I, I I know one my daughter one time, they were sending like weird, like different memes, and they were saying only oh, in Ohio. So I guess that's where it comes from. School air, the different atmospheric composition in school where it messes up one's physical appearance, like hair. I swear to God, bro, there's makeup remover in the school air. Corny. I don't really think that's necessarily true. I just I, I feel like I said corny and I yawned at the same time. I said a corny. I feel like it just has to do with like where the school is located. 
Or maybe it's just the atme- nanorism? Yeah, read it. Something said by a nano or grandmother that is not entirely true. Not a lie, but an exaggeration or an embellishment of the truth. Nana passes by a famous hospital and tells the children, I was the head of a child services there when I was 25. Or, I used to live at the Drake Hotel in Chicago. Is it true? We don't know. It's but it appears to be an aneurysm. <laughs> Meta cringe. The act of cringing at somebody who is deliberately aware of what makes you and most people cringe. They themselves may even cringe at it. Yet, that certain somebody continues to write an entire essay about it. Now, before you stop to cringe at the mere word TikTok, we did meta analysis of all TikToks published after COVID 19. TikTok. TikTok. And TikTok. found that a large portion of TikToks are actually more He's educational. He's pretty good with that accent. I don't have that accent are actually more educational than the standard high school curriculum. He knows how to do that because he watch a lot of Harry Potter, I think. Circle of R. Skip. Canadian goodbye. Skip. Dickfish. Read that one. The <laughs> act of sending a false dick pic is that is bigger or less ugly than her own. With a goal of impressing a girl and hoping she doesn't notice the difference. So holding your camera maybe from high up? Or something? No, it's just it in? no, it's just sending somebody else's dick pic and claiming it as your own. Oh, okay, like this, for Jew- example. Juhi, he totally dick fished me. It was definitely not the same dick from the pictures. <laughs> it's like catfishing, I guess. It is. It is catfishing. So if I except. send a picture of this, and then I say, "Hey, that's me," and then you say, "That's bullshit. That's a dick fish." You don't want to see her Eiffel Tower. Wait, what that said, bitch? What? Bitch eating crackers. <laughs> Everything this person does annoys you, even something as simple as eating crackers. Taken from a meme, your BEC is that person you can't stand. Look at Erica over there reading that book. So annoying. I know who she sounds like. Who does sound like? The little kid from Family Guy. What's his name? Stewie. Stewie! Yes, he sounds like Stewie. She's just reading. You just think that's annoying because she's your bitch eating crackers. And yeah, look at her flipping the pages and Wow, this Kim bitch really hates Erica. Wow. What did Erica ever do to her? What if Erica's like a really successful young young woman and she's just jealous of her success? You don't know what Erica's going through. Nooch? Mm, sleeper cool. build? Rinse repeat? I've heard Algo that. speak? Bachelor's handbag? Supermarket bought rotisserie chicken in a handy plastic carry bag? Is a bachelor's handy bag? Popular with the single man attempting to cook for extended family? Broccoli head. Is it a smoker? <laughs> no. They're talking about like, you know how some guys have like poofy hair, like oh, they yeah. have it shaved on the, kind of like, yeah. some yeah. Alina. Netflix curse? Read that one. Netflix new docu-series Breakpoint, which was released two days before first round matches at the Australian Open, profiles the next generation of champion tennis players. Kirkland! The Netflix curse theory tries to make sense of the fact that none of the show's players who have all featured in the world's top 10 at some point in their careers have made it to the quarterfinals. The Netflix curse got my favorite player Maria Sakari, who am I going to root for at the Australian Open now? That's boring. Blinkerton? I don't know, I got a headache. Government cheese? Read that one, because I used to, we used to get government cheese when we were kids. A big hard mass or a block of orange yellow processed USDA cheese food issued by the government. Government. In, it literally says government. Yeah, government cheese. That's how they put it. United States government. government to aid needy families by supplementing their food resources. Used to make grilled cheese sandwiches and macaroni and cheese, but also causes severe bowel obstructive constipation. Silent but deadly stinky gas and or the runs. Yeah, there was a big line, a big cheese line. We used to get on it. We used to literally get a whole block of cheese like that. I don't know if it came pre-sliced or not, but we just had to chop it. I think it came pre-sliced. You know, if you ever worked at McDonald's and you open up the like case of cheese, it comes like that. I just got some government cheese, but I'm not going to make a grilled cheese sandwich because it gave me the wrong <laughs> last time I ate it. You egg-sucking dog. Anyway, find the last one because... I think I need a nap because I'm not feeling good. Margarita toe? <laughs> you want to read that one or no? You can read it. I'll show my margarita toe while no, you read no, it. No, no, no. Don't show the... <laughs> Why? You want it, You don't know what it is first. A sexual act in which one <laughs> lathers their lover's big toe in saliva. Oh my god! Then they proceed to sprinkle salt on the big toe so that the salt sticks. <laughs> Next one... 
squeezes a lime in their that mouth and starts disgusting. sucking on the salty, the salty, yummy big toe. So it's like a margarita drink, but except it's the toe, and then they're sucking on it. And, uh, Bro, I gave Bella a margarita toe, and I can't go back. That's nasty. Forget about it. My March 14th, 2019. Anyway, guys, this wraps up this video of Urban Dictionary. Urban did it, dick, 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 dick. Dictionarians. Well, that's gonna be it. Let us know if you guys like any Urban Dictionary videos or if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to let us know if you want more or any other videos or suggestions that you might like. Any cooking suggestions, any other video suggestions that you might like, please comment down below and we will make sure. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next in the video. Next video. Oh my God. <laughs>